Coach, your team was predicted to finish second in the preseason poll after coming off a successful season last year with the win in the NIT. Could you give us a preview of the upcoming season, please? You know, losing uh, Naomi Hunt, who actually only played one game in conference, and then Nago um, That's it. Those are two big, big ones for us. But everyone's returning, and then we're able to pick up a couple players of incoming. So, no, looking forward to it. You know, I got a lot, a lot of work to do. Um, surprised we got picked second. Thought we'd be sixth or seventh place. So that that feels good. Yes, of the returning players, there's Nikki Tom, Diaba Konate, Deja Lee, and Nevaeh Parkinson. How is your team looking thus far? Uh, it's really hard to tell. I think it's, uh, it's so early in the game. Um, it's really hard to see how we're doing. But so far, it looks good. It looks like we're we're playing well and get to know each other even better. And And so I think that's really helping. Lots to build upon the season, especially since the team won the first Big West regular season championship in program history last year. How does the team feel coming off of that historic season? <laughs> yeah, I told them, uh, you know, being the first of anything is, is very challenging. And I think we were very challenged last year with the injuries and what we were faced with. But I'm just really proud of them and really proud of them pushing through and, and staying focused. Um, you know, it's going to be even tougher, I think, moving forward. Um, but no, it, it's a it's a great thing for our university. I think uh, being able to to stand on our feet here and, and help this program, this department uh, do well it is really important to us. Yeah, so you guys had set that school record with 25 wins and with many of the players returning, I'm sure that hunger is still present. You've all been training over the summer, of course, including a foreign tour at the in the Guadalupe Islands. Share what that was like participating in the three on three tournament there. Yeah, I think it's something different. Um, I know that Riverside had gone previous years, um, so I, I remember that and just try to see if we could do it as well. Uh, and during that time, the three-on-three -three FIBA was there, and a couple of our players um, already had FIBA cards uh, from playing three-on-three -three for their countries. Um, so that was just a cool thing to do. I don't know if they'll be able to compete like that at, at that type of level. Um, so uh, just to give them that experience and and possibly maybe if they go overseas, they could join in because they now have their cards. Can you share a little bit about the difference in competition between the three on three versus the traditional five on five ba basketball? Higher pace, different rules, um, no coaching, you know, it's just it's kind of letting them do their thing. So um, yeah, it's a fun it's a fun environment. I think um, I think it was good for the players. I think it was good for us. We we enjoy the day. Um, I enjoyed it. Didn't have to coach. Just had to sit there and watch them play. So um, those are things that I think are, are valuable and, and just uh, letting them kind of grow into their own. Along with honing their skills, I'm sure there was some off-court, non-basketball related experiences that you all enjoyed. Could you share some of those um, experiences from the trip? Yeah, I think foreign tours are are not just about basketball. It's an educational tour. Um, I think that's how we t look at it. Um, I know that you go foreign exchange and study abroad for a student here. I think our players don't have that opportunity. So for us to be able to give them an opportunity of going on an educational tour was great. We got to go see um, a slavery museum. We got to go in the community, work with the young girls, uh, do some clinics, um, and then say, go see some beaches. I mean, it's on, it's, on, it's on a rock surrounded by water, so all you'd see is beaches around you. So I think that was that was good, too. Well, I'm excited for the team's tip-off this season, and good luck, Coach. Thank you for your time. Thanks.